Duran Duran was entangled in lots of fishing nets, but he was successfully rescued, rehabilitated here at the sanctuary, and then released. Sadly, though, a few weeks ago, he was found dead on a beach, entangled again in nets. A post-mortem revealed that he had a chest infection. It's not clear whether it was the net or the infection that killed him, but what we do know is that he shouldn't have been entangled in nets at all. But there are people out there doing some unbelievably encouraging work to tackle this problem of discarded fishing nets. Ghost gear, ghost nets, are essentially discarded, abandoned, or just lost fishing gear that just carries on drifting in the ocean currents and doing what it was designed to do, trapping, entangling, and snaring marine life. Fred here is doing some amazing work to retrieve this ghost gear. Fred, tell me about your work. Uh, I'm a volunteer scuba diver, um, and in our free time, we go and collect abandoned lost nets. <laughs> Okay, you make that sound easy, but it's not, is it? No, it's not. There's a lot of planning and a lot of pre-dives before we can go and retrieve it. Right. So let's think about what sort of depths are you diving down to in order uh, to retrieve this gear? This net it was recovered from 27 metres. Wow, so this is just from one hole? Yeah, one hole was that one. Yeah. So. One of the things, as a diver myself, I get asked is, oh, yeah, well, am I afraid of the marine life? No, I, I'm afraid of this stuff. I mean, I imagine it's high-risk stuff. How do you go about doing it? Entanglement is a, a huge risk to scuba divers. Uh, again, it's another reason to get rid of it out of the ocean. Um, we always work in teams of three. So you've got a, a worker, an assistant, and overwatch, making sure that everybody's safe. Yeah, right. So you float this up to the surface. What happens next? Uh, we haul it onto the boat, onto the dive boat, and then we cut out any uh, marine life that's trapped in it, uh, right. survey what, it. What are the most common things that you see? Uh, spider crabs or any crab, mm -hmm. uh, they're scavengers of the sea, mm -hmm. so the, the last catch that was in the net before it got lost will die and become bait for the next thing that comes along and the scavengers come along and feed on it and get trapped. So it's brought up, you've freed all the marine life, what next? Uh, we recycle it, we don't want to put it into landfill because uh, that's just a future problem. So we, we work with our partners uh, to get it all recycled into new material. Mm -hmm. We have oh, wow. the new material here, these are the, the new plastic nurdles, they can be made into anything. So these are like nurdles, these are like the building blocks of all plastic yep. products, wow. So that can be made into any new rigid plastic product and it also gets made into this new yarn, eco nil mm -hmm. yarn, and that is can be made into clothing products, carpets, you name it. That's amazing. What I love about this is it's so easy to think that the solutions to all this plastic waste, this deadly plastic waste, is a long way in the future, but it's not. It's already, some of it is being collected at least and is being put to good use.